What is up YouTube? Uh, this is New Medicines 19 and today we're going to talk about uh, Ad Nauseam Dac Tech. My Ad Nauseam Dac Tech, which uh, I've been playing um, on Modo as well as their real cards. And I've been playing Ad Nauseam since 2015 and it's really been really been really great for me and I love the deck. Um, this deck uh, for what I understand, it's uh, kind of like a deck that um, you know flirts with death, and I like that. <laughs> I like that concept. So, what is ad nauseum? Ad nauseum is um, this deck focuses on two um, combo pieces, uh, which is one is first the ad nauseum, which is this card. Ad nauseum uh, lets you reveal the top card of your library and put that card in your hand and you lose life equal to its um, CMC or converted mana cost. And you may repeat it as long as you want. You can deck it out or whichever you, you please. Mm -hmm. But in order for you not to kill yourself, you you need at least these uh, mm -hmm. one of these, like either the Angel's Grace, which you can play um, for one white, which has a split second. You need to cast this first and let it resolve because uh, for a split second effect, you cannot play any spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities or so that's why you want you want to resolve this first and what it does is you can't lose the game this turn or your opponents cannot win the game this turn so until at the end of the turn if the damage will be reduced your life to total to less than one it reduces to one instead so mm -hmm. basically it's just another it's like another turn for you. You can't kill yourself with the with the loss of life that Adnosium deals you. And the other one is Phyrexian and Life. Now what it does is uh, it's a two colorless one white that you do not lo lose the game for having zero or less life. As long as you have zero or less life, all damage is dealt to you as though its source had infect. So there's a lot of confusion like how Phyrexian and Life works. Uh, in Modo, there's no, there's no, there's no confusion with it because um, the the engine, the Modo engine itself, so, you know, uh, converts all the damages and transcribe it to um, either damage or infect. But in real cards, in real life, um, it's best to call out a judge. Like if you don't understand, if your uh, or your opponent doesn't understand, because if your opponent understands and you don't understand, it, he will just take advantage of your, you know, your knowledge or your lack of knowledge for fraction and life. But for how I understand for Erection and Life, correct me guys if I'm wrong, put your comments um, down below and um, to see or to, to say uh, how you understand for Erection and Life in a professional basis or a legal basis. <clears throat> so how for Erection and Life, for Erection and Life works, uh, how I understand it, it's, it's like um, if you have it in play, if the opponent deals you direct damage 11 or so and your life is at 1, so instead of um, putting you to um, 10 infect counters since it's one time damage and you're not even less than zero so it would count as one damaged in total so you would get negative 10 life instead of um, 10 poison counters because you're not yet below zero so after that direct damage is dealt to you um, and your your life is zero after and uh, anything after your zero is in fact if it's hard to understand guys um like i said you guys can talk about it in the comments below we can guys uh we can talk about it in the comments below how to understand it better so once you um able to resolve uh your combo what you're looking for is these red um red cards right here mm -hmm. one is your simian spirit guide which lets you exile it from your hand and you can add red to your mana pool. Mm -hmm. So you can cast mm -hmm. your Lightning Storm. This Lightning Storm um, spell is a one colorless, two red, that deals X damage to target creature or player where X is plus three plus the number of charge counters on it. So basically you have a, you have a bonus of three damage and each land card you discard, um, it adds two charge counters, meaning it adds two more damage. So, um, when you discard um, Lightning Storm, mm -hmm. make sure you hold priority. You don't you don't pass it. You do not let your opponent respond to it because you are um, trying to resolve mm -hmm. the land that you're discarding. 
So until that you're done discarding your lands, mm -hmm. which is two charge counter for each land, um, then you can pass the you know the you can let your opponent respond. Because if you let him respond, it actually mm -hmm. cuts off um, your your discarding land. It cuts off um, uh, the spell itself for you to add additional damage. Mm -hmm. And on that part, um, I would suggest to count the lands and put it in specific um, number that what on what your opponent life total is. So. If ever the the um, your the opponent has a land on his hand, mm -hmm. if he um if he manages to dis discard a land, because it, like it says on the lightning storm, any player may activate this activate this ability, but only if lightning storm is on the stack. Mm -hmm. So he can uh, discard if you have like five lands, he can <laughs> redirect damages to damage to you with those lands. Mm -hmm. So you would want to um to make sure that you have additional lands that you can discard so you can redirect the damage to him. Um, talking about other spells, Pack of Negation, I put in 4 because I love Pack of Negation. Pack of Negation saves, uh, will save you a lot of times, especially um, you know buying a lot of turns. <laughs> if you have Angel's Grace, a bunch of Angel's Grace and Pack of Negations, you can just keep on countering, countering um, whatever threats um, or spells that will kill you um, before turn 4. Because basically, um, this deck is a turn 4 win if you have all the conditions met, like you have Lotus Bloom, or you have um, you have Lotus Bloom, mm -hmm. which you can suspend, and in the 4th turn, you can get your um, 3 mm -hmm. mana. Or if you have mm -hmm. Pendant Prisms, mm -hmm. you can cast on the 1st turn, 2nd turn, and you can just totally win on the 3rd or whichever turn you want. Um, other ones, Serum Visions is a definitely must, 4 of it. Um, sleight of hand, I only put one because of the sorcery speed that it does, and um, it's a good cantrip um, that I want instead of um, you know um, if I use it along with the uh, temples. So if I play temples, um, I would play certain versions first, um, then temples and second turn. So I would know what to you know to scry and what to filter out. Vice versa, whichever works for you guys, that works for me. So, <laughs> everyone has its own ways. And anticipate and peer. These cards are amazing because peer, mm -hmm. especially as it looks up the type, top five cards of your library and it mm -hmm. digs deep. It digs for your Angel's Grace. It digs for your um your your pack of Negation Slaughter Pack and Ad Nauseum. And if ever you guys um you know um encounter a lightning storm the only thing that you can draw with it is lightning storm i i recommend or suggest that you just put it back to your library because <laughs> you don't want that in your hand because it, it might be a potential for discard because discard um decks are a really bad matchup for for us for ad nauseum and um laboratory maniac i love this guy it's my second win con if lightning storm doesn't work um, laboratory maniac how it works is that if you do, will draw a card while your library has no cards in it you win the game mm -hmm. so um, if if and if worse comes to worse your lightning storm is like slaughter packed or I mean if it was um, what do you call it again the slaughter games yes slaughter games or I don't know like it was it was um, surgical extracted or whatever it was named or pitting needled you can always win with um with laboratory maniac. Um, what you do is you deck yourself out, make sure you have um one blue available or two blue available to play lab maniac. Um, and then you can serum visions. What I do is usually um, if I have enough mana to play lab maniac, I'll play it. Then I'll cast or, or exile a semen spirit guide, and play panther prism to actually um play as their versions with which I can draw the last card and I win you know <laughs> and on my mana base I use one besager which is really great against some um, control matchups I don't use it again I, uh, along with Urberg because I um, on my past matchups I really didn't 
find a need for it but in some players and some users um ad nauseum players i i found out they they like the the Urberg, um paired with besager because it turns on the besager not only to pay life but you can also pay it with uh, we can also use it for black mana but it's entirely up to you guys i use some um, cedar brass for color fixing which is really good in early games. Two dark, dark, dark slick shores. Too many um, makes you feel like um, if you have too many of it, if you get it um, past three lands, it just becomes tapped. Two gemstone mines because of the counters. I only, it's only limited. Um, I have three or one of each um, plane. I mean basic lands. So um, against blood moon, blood moon matchups because blood moon is a wreck. Blood Moon is hard to come back from if you don't have Lotus Bloom and Penta Prism on you know on the first three turns because it actually slows you down a lot and kills you potentially. Um, so for Lotus Bloom for mana, it's best to have it mm -hmm. on the first and second turn. Uh, second turn is actually too long already. If you have it in the third and a fourth, it's uh, basically just prolonging the game. You want this in a fourth, fourth turn or a third turn win. Um, I put in like two fetches just to fetch out uh, the basic lands or whatever mana fixing you need. Mm -hmm. I have um, marsh and polluted deltas. Mm -hmm. I only have two um, fast lands of each, three of each of um, the scry lands because I love filtering out whatever I need and I don't need on top of the library. Uh, Tolario West. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, this is this counts as you know a search for either the lands that you need zero mana casting either lotus bloom or pack of negation or solar pack either whichever you need at the you know at the match at the moment and panda prisms are great um, they're lifesavers now let's talk about sideboard on my sideboard um, I put in a four ethereal haze. These guys are are amazing. It instead of darkness, darkness only um, prevents combat damage. This one prevents any creature damage. So it's a one white, and prevent all damage that would be dealt by creatures this turn. It saves you with saves you from Grisho Shoal um, combo. The Barbarigmos saves you from infect. Saves you from um any pinks like for example um like those tap deal damage and you know you lose the game whatever like that so it prevents those damage mm -hmm. um silence is really good against control matchups if you don't have any more pack at hand and you want your ad nauseum or angel's grace for solve you cast your silence to so the, the opponent cannot be able to respond to whatever you're gonna do and I, lo I love Silence and Tron matchup because if you see, um, you know, the, the opponent um, able to assemble Tron on the third turn and you feel like Karn is going to come out, you, you, you have Silence on hand, just go for it. Silence that, um, that Tron player because Karn is really hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. And Karn, and once he resolves Karn, it's just hard to come back from. Uh, I have put one more for Rex in Life just for um, additional ones if you, I need it more for um, for because the Rex in Life is really really um, really vulnerable to abrupt decays, removals and stuff. So if the guy has so much removals and um, I need more for Rex in, I, Angel's Grace is not enough, then I can board it in. Um, Leyline of Sanity is really great against Burn, against Discard. Um, Thoughtseize, Inquisition, Duress, anything that you know will kill your your win con, your combos, but it doesn't work against the Liana. So you guys need to um, plan ahead on how to deal with the Liana, which is what I have in next turn is Echoing Truth. Um, either pack Echoing, Echoing Truth works well with Thalia, Gadok Deek, um, anything that um, disrupts your combo. Before I had this long time <laughs> long time ago I, I had this ever since because of the um, the splinter twin splinter twin is really hard to um to deal with so i had echoing and the ethereal for it the rest is mainly for um for 
for threats like Liliana, Karn, um, anything that disrupts your combo is really essential. So control matchup, sometimes I put it in, but um, mostly for the for the, the rest is for the things that I cannot deal with. It's the real things I cannot deal with, silence or ley line or pack. Anything that you think is viable to, to play the rest with. Okay, so that's it guys. Um, like I said, uh, this is my ad nauseum um, build workup. Um, I've been playing this and this has been my build and it changes from time to time depends on you know um how the meta goes and how the you know wizards keeps on <laughs> producing more cards but um all in all this is um this is uh, my ad nauseum deck tech if you guys like the deck um please support um support the channel to click like subscribe and share and if you have any comments um, just post it below and we can share some insights how to improve the, um, the deck how to improve um, you know our gameplays and my gameplay especially because I, I really want to be better for you guys and um, yeah hope you enjoy the, the deck and see you guys soon